Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Hello. This is Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue here for today's Cricut Chat. And we're going to be making these really adorable candy corn. Um, candy corn... I guess they're just pieces that I've strung together with some letters. So we're going to do trick or treat in, um, in this candy corn. And I wanted to um, show you a couple of tricks. I did this, actually, I did this project on both my maker and my <clears throat> joy. So I wanted to show you what part I thought was the easiest part on the joy and what part was easiest on the maker. So depending on what machine you have, you can do this on either the joy or the maker or the explore. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to give you the file, which is a file that I, um, that I created. But <clears throat> I just want to, you know, be honest with you and tell you that I, um, <clears throat> that I made this on both machines. Okay. Um, so I wanted to say hello and good morning. Hi, Susan. Um, before we get too far in the day, I just want to let you know that tomorrow morning I won't be able to do Cricut Chat because I have an appointment with my surgeon. It was the only time, 9.30 was the only time that I could do it. And um, she think, hopefully is going to release me from, from uh, to go to radiation. So I can't do Cricut Chat on Friday, but we're going to do it on Saturday and I'm going to give you the project file. It's a um, Dreaming Tree project file that is uh, boxes with uh, the word fall spelled out on it and it's illuminated because people like lanterns. So, um, so we're going to have date night on Saturday night, but just not Cricut Chat tomorrow, okay? So, this is a wonderful little project, and I, I created it myself. Again, I'm going to give you the file, and it's just these paper candy corns that are actually three strips of paper that I've then um, cut out in smart vinyl on the Joy. This is my smart vinyl, and I've cut out smart vinyl um, to put on the candy corn. So I think there's like 11 candy corns that I've made. Candy corn, candy corns. I don't know if it's plural, candy corns. <laughs> but um, there's 11 of them that I made, and I'm going to show you where I found these graphics too, because even though I could have done a text box for the letters, I didn't. I used a graphic that was in Design Space and made a slight modification on it. So let me just show you uh, to start off with um, where I found this image. Um, so there is this uh, candy corn here, and uh, what I went to is I went to images. Now I'm working from my iPad. You don't have to work from your iPad, um, but you can, and you can work on your laptop or your desktop as well. So um, under images, I just typed in candy corn. And I got a lot of really wonderful um, results, including this one here, which is the first one that popped up, but there are a couple of others. And these are all really cute and could definitely work, but with the banner that I was envisioning, I really wanted just kind of a plain candy corn. That, And that's what I want to do. This is more of a... I think it's more kind of a, it's rounded and it might be like better for print than cut. And these all also are using this too small and these are using the faces. So, which are adorable. So I chose this one and I brought it into my, um, oh, one, on one of the groups I saw someone having trouble with the new OS and fonts. Oh, Okay, I haven't heard that, so thanks for that feedback, and I can bring it to, um, I can bring it to the cricket team. Thank you. Um, okay, so what I did here is that I made 
what did I say? 11 of these, 11. And um, these consists of, let me just ungroup this so you can see. These consists of three pieces. There's white, there's the orange piece that goes over the white, and then the yellow that goes over the orange and the white. Um, and these are glued. And actually, I could have put the, the little holes, which is what I did here after I glued them. I could have put the holes in on Cricut on, on the design space, but I just, I had my hole punch. This is just a basic hole punch that costs like a dollar seventy five at a supply store um and it's just a basic hole punch, so I just instead of going through the process of of doing this for my um uh, for all three because you'd have to put it on all three colors, um I just decided that I would hole punch it okay so um that is for the candy corn now for the image for tr trick or treat I just went to images again and I typed in trick or treat and I looked at all of the different trick or treat things if it ever comes up come on Take your time already. Okay, so there are a lot of choices for trick or treat here. And um, I was like thinking, okay, this one would look good, right? Um, which is, it looks like that's the exact same thing. But, um, and then there's a number of others that look really good. But what I was looking for was something that had the letters individually. So this one would not work because see how close the R, I, and the C are? Um, same down here between the T R E A T. That's connected. And sometimes we want a connected thing, like for instance, when we do um, the cake, the cake toppers. But in this case, we wanted individual letters, or I wanted individual letters. So I chose this one, but it does have a bat on it, and I don't like the bat. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. So I'm going to choose this one and bring it into my design space. Okay, so here is the um, the image that I want to use, and I'm going to cut this out in Smart Thino, um, and then I am going to adhere each individual letter onto my candy corn piece. Okay, which that's a great idea, right? But I have this bat in here, so I want to get rid of the bat. So how do I do that? Well, I insert a sheep. I'm going to insert a square shape. Okay. And then I'm going to bring the square shape over to, I'm going to see if I can make this a little small so you can see it. Move over. Okay, so I, I have the square shape and I'm going to position it over the T as close as I can, okay? And I'm going to unlock it and sort of make sure that it is really as close as I can. I can get real close like doing this by pinching or whatever you call this, pinching, I think. See that? Okay, and so now I'm going to select both the square and the trick-or-treat, and I'm gonna go to Actions, and I'm going to choose Slice. Now what I've done is I have removed the bat from the trick or treat and I can it comes up into three slices there's our original um box and there's the original bat and then there was another there was another one the cutout of the the bat okay so now I have the letters all individual and I can size them to whatever size I want um and in this particular case I think I sized them let me check I did them so that they would appear sort of on all three of the colors. I'm trying to remember how tall I size this. Let's see. Hold on, hold on. Um, so this was done at one, two, like two and a quarter inches, right? So I can change the size and it's all in one piece, which is fine. Now, if you were gonna do this on your 
explore, you might want to cut this in half and um, do two separate things because when you go to cut it, it's going to come this way onto your mat, which means that you'll have to use a longer mat. Okay. But I, since I'm using the joy, I'm just going to use that extra long vinyl that I have, the smart vinyl, right? And I just want to make sure I have the height correct. I'm going to do 2.1, I guess, right? So there is um, Trick or Treat ready to be cut with the smart vinyl, okay? And then, um, Let's see, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to also cut out these candy corns. Now, um, I wanted to show you, I've shown you this many times, but I wanted to show you just in case, you know, you're, you're new and you haven't seen me do this, but um, I use this, it's called a personal trimmer, or I think that's what it's called, personal trimmer. It's by Cricut. See? But it's not the only, Cricut's not the only manufacturer. I just happen to really like the Cricut one. And I'm actually giving away these this month in our giveaway. So, um, and I like that it's an extendable arm and that I'm not going to get cut on this. Remember those old timey ones that where you'd get, you know, you'd be afraid of getting cut. So then I take 12 by 12 sheets of paper, which this is a uh, Cricut this this is a Cricut cardstock, which I think is really good. So is this. The orange is not. The Cricut orange is slightly uh, different tone, a little more muted. So I wanted like a really orangey one. So this was from Basil. You can see here. Oh, it does. I cut off the the name, but it was from Basil, which I believe I got at Joanne's. Okay. So I'm just going to use this cutter to cut strips from a 12 by 12. Now, if you don't want to do a 12 by 12 or you have this in eight and a half by 11, same principle, just cutting it the long way on an eight and a half by 11. So I'm going to line it up. And in this particular case, I'm going to cut four and a half inches, which means I get two strips out of that. And then I get this extra piece that I'll keep for, um, for later. So now I have my strips of orange, white, and yellow to make my candy corn. And then I also have my smart vinyl in black to do the vinyl. So we're going to use this on the Joy. However, you can, again, you can do this on any machine that you want. And I just want to show you um, one of, like maybe one or two of the um, cutouts. So let me just make an adjustment here on my, on my computer or on my, my, uh, what do you call it? My iPad. I'm just going to get rid of some of these candy corns. Now, one other thing that you could do if you didn't want to duplicate the candy corn so much, um, but since this project really requires one for each letter, I did duplicate, but you could also change in the project settings. And let's group this and make it disappear. Okay, so we're just gonna cut out the trick or treat and two of these candy corn so you can see. Now, two things. If you are working with two machines, or even if you just haven't worked on your joy in a while, um, you need to make sure that your machine is set to joy. And I do that on the iPad by clicking on my avatar and I choose machine selection. And there I can choose joy, maker or explore. In this case, we're gonna do it with the joy. So I've got to choose that one. I also need to make sure that my um, <clears throat> my uh, iPad is connected via Bluetooth to my Joy, and I'll do that by going to my settings and choosing Bluetooth, turn it on, and choosing Joy. See, mine's connected. Now I won't have any hard, a hard time at all in cutting it out. So let's go ahead and make it. <clears throat> Now, 
<clears throat> this is a multiple ways project. You can do it in two steps if you want, or you can do it with um, doing it all at once. So in this case, we have paper, and that has to go on a mat. But we also have this, which is the um, Smart Vinyl, which does not need to go on a mat because it is specially formulated or specially made to go in the joy without being on a mat. So in this case, we're going to choose multiple ways. And you will see that we end up with these th one, two, three mats. There's our yellow. There's our white. And there's our orange. And then the fourth mat is the Trick or Treat. Um, but it shows up where the ore is up here. I don't know. For me, I don't know if it's an aesthetic thing, but I just kind of move it down in here. And then I have this extra vinyl that I can cut off and use, okay? So I'm going to hit continue, and I'm going to start with mat four, which is the vinyl. Um, and we're going to use, this is Smart Vinyl Permanent, so we're going to choose that. If you don't have this as set as your favorite, you would go to all materials and choose from the list. And in this case, it's Smart Vinyl Permanent, and that's what I'm choosing. Okay. Then I'm going to take my vinyl, move over to my Joy, and I am going to... Can you use Joy Vinyl in the Explorer if you use a regular mat? You could. It kind of doesn't make sense to do it that way, Deborah, because um, because it's more expensive, like, you know, inch for inch. Um, it's a little bit more expensive. So um, you could certainly do it. And also remember, you can use regular vinyl, vinyl that you have collected over the time or whatever um, that's on a roll and you can cut it down and use it in the joy um, and some people have figured out a way to do it without a mat but I always do it on the mat so all right so I'm putting in my roll and it's checking to see if it's aligned right and that I have enough material in there you got to give yourself some space in the back here, okay? So it's loaded the material and it's ready to go. If I want to make any changes, now is the time that I would make the changes or I can just hit go and it will continue on and cut the Joy Vinyl. Yeah, you know what, Deborah? I did find some Joy Vinyl myself and Iron-On at Michael's that was on sale, but not all of them. It was just select colors. So I'm wondering if for the holidays, they're just getting sort of trying to decide what worked and what didn't work. You know, because the Joy launched, what, on March? In March? So they probably, you know, have the data over the course of several months and figured out what colors are going to work for the, for the season. That's all I can think of. Um, because they were like, different colors like lime green and party pink and stuff like that so whatever um but yeah you could use them deborah but um personally if if and if i didn't have a joy i probably wouldn't buy the joy materials i just think i don't know at four dollars for the roll i suppose that's pretty good but it just kind of doesn't make sense definitely not at full price so, so okay, my uh, vinyl is done cutting. I'm going to have to grab my mat for the papers. Okay. So let's unload this. And here is my vinyl. Now note that if I could have, I probably would have put... Um, either two on here or because I always make two of everything or I would have made these smaller so that I could have put two going side by side but I didn't um, because I was in a rush so next up is our paper I'm gonna just put my vinyl away so next up is our paper this one is the we've got three we've got let's see this one 
the white, and the orange. So what we need to do is we need to change the mat. See if it's gonna let me do that. Oh, I might have to cancel. Do I have to cancel? Um, this is going to be, here it is. Without mat, no, we're going to choose with mat and we have to change that, which I'm having trouble doing that. How am I having trouble doing that? Make it. Uh, oh, I'm just gonna choose on mat. Okay, and then I'm gonna change why is it only doing it? Okay, here we go. Sorry, I confused myself. Now, I don't know why this is happening, but it's it's got this one going this way and this one going that way, but you know, you can always change that by turning it. Or you could take this one and turn it to go this way, like this, you see? Now, let's see what this one looks like. I'm going to change the white to be the, um, sorry, my, my machine's not cooperating. So I want it to say with matte, but it's saying without matte, and I'm not really sure why it's doing that. So let me, um, let me back out of this and so this could be the, they did do a, um, an update last night which is you know maybe they're they're having a little trouble i don't know but let's just do this just do these um these paper slices okay so we're going to hit make it and we're going to choose on mat because it's paper and it says review your material load types at least one of your material does not fit that's not true because i cut it out before um, so let's see if I do it this way. Well, I'm having problems, guys. So I already cut these out, thankfully. So I'm just going to skip this part. But if you, um, if you try it and you're having problems, then, um, maybe we should report that to, to Cricut. Okay. So let's just skip that and go to the putting it together business because I did cut out all of the letters already and our candy corn and so this is the one that we cut out let me just make sure you're i'm in the frame okay so this is the one that we cut out and we're just going to weed it by taking it at the corner and again i could cut all of this and save this vinyl which if i can find my scissors which are right here and i don't drop them Come on, Rita. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to save this vinyl just because, hey, what the heck? It might be good for something, right? All right, so let's put that aside. And then I'm going to weed from the corner my letters. Very easy weed. Like this. And then I have to go back and pick out the little spaces between the letters, which nobody has found what the name of those spaces between the letters are, huh? I haven't for sure. Okay. So there's our trick or treat cut out out of smart vinyl. Now the, the um, candy corn pieces, as I mentioned, are created from three pieces. There's the white, which is the beast. Let's see, it can find. All right, so here, these ones are done. So here's my not put together ones. Okay, so there's the white, that's the base. There's the orange that lays over the white. And then there is the yellow that goes on top, thus making a candy corn, right? But we're gonna do it this way because that's where we're gonna put our, le our letters on there. So I need my glue. And I'm just going to glue my orange piece to the white and then the yellow. Just need to open up my glue here. Okay. 
just a little bit of glue. And I like that it's layered. I don't know, it gives it a little bit of substance at the top and so it won't sag or something. I don't know. I like the layered look. All right, and so once we get, we just go through, cut everything out and we create these little candy corn pieces. This one got away from me. Um, so here's the other one. Okay, orange. And you would do this, if you're gonna do trick or treat, you would do this 11 times with or being the middle in one on one, which I made smaller by the way, okay? So there we go. Now you can um, cut the holes before or after I did it before. And then I'm just using my regular hole punch, cutting a little hole there, okay? Right, like that. So now I have all of my candy corn, except for this one. Cut my holes. Okay. Then um, I'm going to take my cutout and I'm going to use transfer paper. You can buy transfer paper just for the joy, but um, I didn't have any available. So I'm just gonna use this regular transfer tape you use whatever works best for you. I know other people use different things, but I like the Cricut transfer tape the best. So here I just made like a strip and I'm going to take it and I'm gonna put, now I know we're gonna do it all separate, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna take this strip. It's just easier this way, okay? And I'm gonna put it over the trick and the or, like that, make sure I press it down like this, right? And I could trim up the extra tape if I want to. Okay, and I would do the same for the word treat. Um, and then I would just simply, this is what, how I did it, I would just cut each letter off so that I now have each letter, I know it's not super mind blowing, but this is how I did it. Uh, makes it, for me, it made it much easier, okay? So there's my trick, and then I have my or, right? In all the letters. Then I just take each of the candy corns, make sure that this comes off correctly. You know how you have to burnish it, as I said. And there it is on my transfer tape and I'm gonna position it. I positioned them all so that they were, the, the letter started at the yellow. All right, and then pull, make sure you push it down. So there we go, there's my T and I'm just gonna keep moving. It's my R. Okay. Now, personally, um, because I have both machines, and this is not like some sort of advertising for the for the machines, but some people do have both machines, or they want to get another machine. I liked doing this on the the paper part on my maker, and then doing um, doing the vinyl part on my joy. So this is kind of a combo thing, but obviously if you only have one machine, you can do just the one machine. Nobody's twisting your arm to say that you have to do it a certain way um, or that you need those both machines. Um, there are alternatives and somebody in my joy group said, gee, I thought this was a joy group. 
but you're posting stuff that says explore a maker. But usually when I do a video, I will tell you if it can be done on the Joy or what kind of modifications you need to make so that it can be done on the Joy. Okay, so we're almost done with the trick. The K. And I'm just eyeballing it. I know that I had like the letters come down a little bit on the white. That's how I know where, where to position it. And you don't wanna burnish this transfer tape too much because you are you do have paper on the bottom. So you don't wanna pull up the paper. And now the last one is the or. You would have the machine cut the hole. Yeah, I don't know. I like sometimes like to work with uh with the with my hand tools. So here's the the or and I made it smaller so I'm just going to put it in the orange so that I I made it smaller so I could put both letters in the on on that one thing, okay? So then so I already did the treat, right? So I'm going to put the or, because I'm working from right to left. It's a little backwards. You could do it either way. Um, so I'm going to do the or, and I just take, this is Baker's Twine. I got it. I don't even think they're in business anymore. It was like a pick your plum, but I got it and I've had it forever because I never use enough of it. And um, so I thought the black and white looked good. And then I'm going to string it and I put the string in the back because I don't want it to sort of get in the way of my of my uh, letters, right? So I'm putting the string in the hole in the back and then up through the left hand hole, see? And I'm just going to do the rest of the word trick. As long as I can get extra twine here. Okay. Like this. I gotta move these guys down. Make sure you cut more than you think you need because it's a long banner. I love banners. I make banners all the time. Um, I have a perfect place for them. I guess that's why I love them so much. So here I put it behind, come up through the hole. Yeah, these could, you know, I just like that it kind of looks like a banner, but it's a candy corn. <laughs> T-R-I. So we put the I on. Right? And have to keep moving it so that I have enough enough twine. Sorry, didn't plan for that. Here we go. Trick coming right up. I here's my R. This would look really good, I think, for, um, I do it for my home, but I think at like the senior center or maybe a school or something, it's just kind of a cute, a cute project. Okay. And now I'm not going to get it in, in the, uh, in view, but here it is. Trick or treat. Oops the T. And that's it. Now I'm going to give you this file because I just made it out of Cricut Design Space images. So if you are watching this live, make sure you check back so you can see uh, the file and grab the file. And if you want to do it on whatever you want to do, if you want to put the holes in there, you can do the holes in there as well. Um, the, one, the file that I'm going to give you has the ore that's smaller. And um, Let's see, and you can do it in whatever materials that you want. I just thought that it looked really cute like this, and it's really simple. I literally put this together in, I don't know, half an hour, and that was designing it. 
okay? So, I mean, this is a very quick thing that you can do and just kind of dress up your home for Halloween. Um, and, and that's it. Isn't that fun? Trick or treat with candy corns. I just love this. All right, everyone. That's going to be it for today. And actually, as if you didn't catch me at the very beginning, um, I wanted to let you know that tomorrow I have to go to see the surgeon. The only time she was available was 930. So there is no way that I'm going to be able to do cricket chat um, because I I have to get to the hospital first. So we're not going to have cricket chat tomorrow, but we are going to have cricket date night on Saturday night. And we are doing a project from Dreaming Tree, uh, which is 3dsvg.com. And I will post a link. And it is um, some really nice luminaries but they're shaped like boxes and um, it says fall and I'm going to show you how to print the vellum so that you can um, have the colored vellum because it requires like orange and yellow colored vellum and I'm also using some fall paper as well so thank you everyone um, and we will see you again on Saturday night remember I'm always available either in my groups um, throughout the day or by email which is Miss Rita to the Rescue at Gmail. My groups are on Facebook. I have a Miss Rita to the Rescue community page. Um, and then we also have the Just Joy and the other groups as well. Um, thank you. Thank you for wishing me well for my appointment. I am so looking for, I've been going to three times a week. I've been going to the hospital and um, they're just taking care of like after the surgery doing some wound work and um so uh, I've been doing that for like five weeks now and I just want to have my you know my my treatment be over and that's going to be over with radiation so hopefully they can release me for radiation and then um then I'll be all set and I can finish that up and just go on with my life which would be nice so so we will see you all on Saturday night, 7 o'clock here on Facebook. And I hope you have a wonderful couple of days today, tomorrow, and Saturday. I'll see you on Saturday night. We're going to have some prizes too on Saturday night. Okay? All right, everyone. Um, have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you, Penny.